Hey, and welcome to uh, John's Coin Pusher versus Everything. Today we are uh, playing Coin Pusher Poker. Now, and I gotta tell you, it's not easy to find one of these Coin Pusher Poker machines. I tried, I looked all over Brooklyn. I walked over, looked all over Williamsburg, which is not Brooklyn, no matter what people say. I couldn't find one in Queens. Finally, I had to go up to the Bronx to just on the line between the terrible neighborhoods and Riverdale. Um, so, uh, um, you know, there, finally I found, you know, Marty's Poker Den. I'm not gonna tell you where it is, and his name isn't really Marty. But, uh, um, you know, I have some friends who live near here. I wonder if they know about this place. That may be why they're always broke. In any case, here's how a uh, coin pusher poker works. Brit, Um, is going to have 10 minutes. What you shush, we're trying to play over here. It's going to have 10 minutes. And this many quarters. To knock down as much money as, as she can. There's about $2,500 in there. And then you think, hey, Britt would be happy. Um, she will, she'll have won a lot of money. Well, no. Because the way coin poker poke, yeah, coin pusher poker works, and coin poker pusher for that matter works the same way, is uh, after Brit takes the money, if she gets any at all, and we count it up, then Brit and Marty, not his real name, the owner, will cut cards for it, and if Brit wins, she gets to keep the money. If Brit loses. Marty gets all his money back. No. Yeah, Britt's not in favor of Marty getting money back. On the other hand, would you be you'd be really surprised to hear that Marty is in favor of him getting his money back. <laughs> so uh, that's just how it's going to work. Um, so um, the ten minutes is starting right now. Yeah, Britt's, Britt's moving like lightning. Jeez, don't cut your fingers off. Or do, you, with the, if you win the money, you can always have them sewn back together. Oh, it won't be as pretty. See, uh, last time we were talking about the fact that uh, Britt had friends in high school, and this was despite her being an absolutely good uh, Catholic girl. But, uh, you know, in, in the later years of high school, she started going a little nuts, you know, with the drinking and the boys. What was your favorite drink then? Rum? Malibu rum. Malibu rum. I don't even know what it is, but she liked it, so, yeah. Um, but uh, see, here's the thing. <laughs> you know how when you go to the doctor, they always ask you, are you sexually active? Yeah, well, huh. Britt's pediatrician was, uh, what was it, he was? Uh, my childhood best friend's father. Yes, Alan's best friend's father. So for years, she's been coming in and saying, and he's been saying, are you sexually active? And Brit was saying, no, I'm a good Catholic girl. And uh, um, then uh, finally, uh, in her later high school years, um, he asked her, so are you sexually active? And Brit look, looks, you know, looks down, her face turn, turns red. And he looks up at him and says, why? You're not busy after work? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's not what, that's not what you say. Um, but uh, he gives her a look, and it's clear that he wants to ask her, um, so what's my daughter up to? But, uh, you know, Rich and I said, he was a complete professional. He said, okay, we got to get you on uh, every birth control pill known to man. Was that basically right? Yeah. Your timeline's a little wrong, but yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. you know, hey, Britt, you know what they call uh, um, Catholic girls who use the rhythm method? What? Mom. Mom. Yeah. Um, so, uh, we're working really fast. Um, so, uh, 
what the hell are we talking about? So yeah, no, it's weird about New York. I mean, it's like, are coin pushers illegal or not? You know, because uh, I find them all over the place. Um, but, uh, eh, I don't know. Maybe it's just not, you know, after all the murder and explosions and drug deals, Maybe uh, coin pushing is just not. Uh, pretty low on the totem pole. It's pretty low on the uh, major crimes list. I think we need to clean it out. Yeah, I think we need to clean out. Okay, Monty, we're gonna clean out for a minute. Okay. Yes, you. Yes, you. You. I know Marty's not your real name. I know. You don't want me to use your real name, do do you? See? Okay. So then when I say Marty. Come. Okay. So uh, Britt's doing a clean out. And uh, she'll be back in a minute. So uh, I know from the sound of Britt's voice, you're probably, uh, probably getting crushed on her, but I'm sorry to tell you, she's, uh, she has a boyfriend, and they're almost engaged. Almost. Almost. And uh, Britt even knows he has the ring. But he hasn't figured out how to give it to her yet. So I called up and said, hey, Charlie, I know. I'll, I'll call a friend. And we'll uh, get a coin pusher that's all filled up with rings. And we can throw her engagement ring into the coin pusher. And uh, um, then she can just try and win it. And if she has to figure out which of them it, it is. Right. And then I, he said, nah, I know Brett too well. Yeah, if she won the real wing, she'd just sell it and they could buy her another one. <laughs> um, so, but you know, they're a really lovely couple and we and it's the kind of people you really think should be married to each other because you really don't want them, you know, out walking the streets. Um, you know, you don't want to see them going down the road. You want them inside, you know, playing with their kids. That's fine. But you sure as heck don't want them, uh, you know, waiting in line in front of you at McDonald's, do you? Is that a fat joke, Joe? No, it's not a fat joke. <laughs> it's an odor joke. Oh, okay. Because anybody you can smell over McDonald's. No, no, no. They're both lovely people. Um, I completely support this marriage. Um, you know, even though... Uh, even though they fight like cats and dogs. Um, you know, that's the kind of fighting that means love. Nevertheless, no. So what do you have to say about it, Brett? I love him so much. Oh, Brett loves Charlie so much. At least she says that when she's being filmed. No, I say that all the time. Okay, Brett has three minutes left. Um, do you say it to Charlie or do you just tell everybody else? Both, both. Okay, so as long as Charlie feels loved and you feel loved. A lot of love. Yeah. So uh, tell me honestly, what do you think of your mother-in-law? I'm or not your mother-in-law to me? She's so sweet. What do you think of your mother? She's a peach. She's a peach. She, she's a fresh peach? Or a, a peach that's been around a little too long? A or fresh peach. A fresh peach. So you're saying your mother's fresh? Yeah. Okay. Like a fresh piece of cake. Oh. Like a fresh piece of cake or a fresh piece of pizza? Cake. Cake is sweeter. Cake is sweeter than pizza? Yeah. Well, I guess it depends on where you get your pizza. If you get your pizza at the cake shop, that's true. You could get a nice sweet uh, slice of uh, pizza cheesecake. Yeah. Well, it, it tastes like cheesecake. It just looks like a pizza. Mm. Isn't that what you want? Maybe. You don't. Know, Get this. Rick can't stand leftovers. Nope. Um, so, see, that makes me wonder. Why did she like Charlie? Obviously, he's been left over. Aww. He was left over when she found him. Charlie's not uh, a leftover. Charlie's not a leftover. Charlie knew that he had to wait for a bridge to come into his life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
And it's, you know, it's, it's not his fault they're going to turn out to be second cousins. Um, it's okay. In New York, second cousins get married. And, uh, okay, I think uh, Britt has a minute and a half left now. He's got a knocked out the rest of these hundreds. And it's, oh, she's going at it. So, Charlie, where does Britt get all this strength in her hands? I don't know, did she uh, like squeeze one of those uh, things with uh, balls on both sides? You know, the, the, you know what I'm talking about. The, the things you, you squeeze. No idea, John. Um, you know, like the hand exercises. Um, that's one. I see a sort of like a stress ball. I'm out of, oh, I got two more. Okay, Britt's got two more quarters. Let's see if she can knock these off because I've got two quarters. Or knock off. Hey, there's a quarter there that could be knocked off. Oh, one more quarter. That's it. I guess that's it. Okay, I guess it's time to go count up. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Britt is actually now going to count up the hundreds. Let's see how well she did. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars. Sixteen hundred dollars. But you think Brett would be very happy, but remember this is coin pusher poker. So now, Marty, Marty, come on up. Marty's time. Um, Marty's gonna come over and uh, he and Britt are gonna cut the cards and whoever gets the, uh, whoever wins the cut, they keep the money. So uh, let's move over to the counting table. We'll be right back. Okay, so uh, here's the uh, box of cards that Marty swears it's fresh and just opened. Open the Loa. I don't know how much I trust Marty. Actually, I do know how I trust, much I trust Marty. That's the problem. So I'm going to like shuffle these up good. Yeah. You know, he's the professional. He should be doing this, not me. But that's Marty. He likes to stick everybody else with the work and walk away with the money. Okay, now I'm gonna cut it once. And now Britt is gonna cut it, cut it and show us the card. Mm. Ooh, that's, ooh that's, a, that's a risky one. Um, Marty says if you'll take 200 to walk, will you take 200 to walk away now? No. No, Britt's, Britt's not gonna walk away. 400? Nope. Nope, she's shooting, she's shooting for the whole thing. Okay. I'll shuffle them and then I'll, you know, I'll let Marty pick them. Okay, I'm going to cut him. Marty. Come pick your card. Should have took that 400. Should have took the 400 and walked away, but uh, no. No, that's just not how Brit is made. She'll take any chance. Um, but um, seriously, guys, thank you for watching uh, Coin Pusher Poker here on John's Coin Pusher versus Everything. Um, and uh, do us a favor and just like and subscribe. It costs you nothing. And share it as much as you can because you know what? If we make any money off this channel, we're going to use it to help other people. Um, and uh, if, you know, I know a lot of people say that, but uh, 
you can check in with uh, Joshua Bartley of Joshua Bartley's High Risk Coin Pusher, and uh, he'll tell you I do help people. And uh, that's kind of the whole point of doing this, to get out there with more ways to help people. And uh, enjoy. Thank you.